Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Techno Buffalo, and in this video, I'm gonna show you something really awesome that just came out of Microsoft Labs. It's called Pivot, and it allows you to analyze massive amounts of data to help you make decisions. And right now it's a free download. I'll post a link on Techno Buffalo on how to get it. Just kind of wanted to give you a demo of different ways that you could use this awesome new technology. So here we start with the collections, which are collections of data that Microsoft has pre-populated. The idea is that if lots of people like this, they're going to come out with more collections. They'll create tools that will allow you to import your own data um, so that you can use this program. So let's go down to dog breeds. I really like dogs and I want some help in trying to find uh, a dog that is right for my lifestyle. So I click on dog breeds and then I immediately get this really beautifully organized grid uh, that is organized by group of dog. And up here, I can sort by different parameters. I can sort by um, approximate lifespan. So I can see right off the bat which dogs are expected to live longer than others. And for me, that's a good place to start. So I'm going to go down to, um, to lifespan down here on the left side. And I'm going to say that I only want to see dogs that live longer than, say, uh, 15 years. I want the dog to be around for a while. So here we go. These are the dogs that live for more than 15 years. Now, I also live in, a, in an apartment, so I want to make sure that the dog doesn't have crazy exercise needs, that they won't get bored and start eating the furniture if I don't take them out for a run for an hour a day. So I'm going to check off minimal and low for exercise needs. And now we are drilled down to a couple of dogs. But I also want a medium-sized dog. I don't want a little kick dog that I'm going to trip over when I walk in at night, but I don't want a huge dog. Uh, that's going to uh, you know intimidate people when they come in. So I am going to go into size and I'm going to check off medium. And now I'm drilled down to just three dogs that fit all of my criteria. And I can zoom in with my mouse. I can move it up and down, kind of like you know you're browsing on an iPhone. And all of these look pretty ugly, except for this one. I like that dog. You can click on it. It tells you what the name of the dog is, some information about it. You get some web links for more information and that sort of thing. So that's one example of how you can use Pivot to help you find a dog that is right for you. Let's go to Discover More Collections, and this time, let's go to um, Concept Cars. I really like cars, and I'm always curious to see of the cool concepts that come out. So right off the bat, we get this visual display that shows us the different sort of body styles, but of course you can filter it by different parameters. Let's see, I want to see kind of the more recent turbocharged cars. Uh, concept car. So I'm going to go to production year and I'm going to filter this out by just in the last um, 15 years or so. So Pivot's going to regenerate and now we have a smaller list of choices. I'm going to go down to aspiration. I just want to see the turbocharged uh, concept cars. I really like turbocharged cars. I like the sound um, that the turbo makes when it spools up. And let's see what else. I want to change body style. I want to, I want to see all of the coupes um, and here we go, here are all the coupes. So we can go through, and these are all the turbocharged coupes concept cars that have come out in the last few years. And we can kind of move around on the screen very intuitively and elegantly. Just a really awesome way to sort of look at data and be able to find quickly information that you want. Let's do one more. I'm gonna go back to discover more collections. And this time I'm going to go to Xbox Marketplace. I haven't been to this one yet, so I'm curious to see what it looks like. So wow, this shows all of the games that are available on the Xbox Marketplace. We can sort by genre. I want to go to release date. I want to see sort of the older games that came out, let's say in 2006. So we can drill into any of these columns. I'm going to go to 2006, and we can also use the zoom tool up here to kind of move back. Or you can use the zoom tool on your mouse. And we see all of the Xbox titles here that came out in this year. Now, I want to see only the racing games and flying games that came out in all of these years. Here they are. And let's look at price. I want to see sort of the, the most expensive, the hottest games that came out. Um, here they are. And also, I want to see um, game ratings. Games that really are made for, for everyone. So I'm going to check off E for everyone. And then we're left with just a few titles that allows me to really drill down and see the games that I want to see that are for everyone, that came out in the last few years, uh, that have to do with racing or flying. This makes it really easy and intuitive 
to uh, look up that information. So again, guys, just a quick look at Microsoft Pivot. I think it's going to be an awesome thing in the future, especially if it gets a lot of traction. It really helps you analyze a lot of data quite easily in a very visually pleasing way. Um, that makes it easily digestible. So again, we'll post a link on Techno Buffalo on how to get this, and uh, that's it for now.